Hi, welcome all. Welcome to new video of my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing July 2023 IG1 examination and uh, uh, for the public, I'll be discussing only one answer. So, um, as you see in the picture, the scenario in the question paper was about a garden center. Garden center, if you don't know about the garden center, let me explain what garden center is. Garden center, uh, it's like uh, you will find an extensive collection of uh, plants, maybe indoor plants or outdoor plants, and you will find um, equipments and products related to gardening, home improvement, and uh, outdoor living. So, uh, in the scenario, there was a garden center, it is named as garden space. Okay, so garden space. Uh, there are different section in the garden space and there are different people working uh, in the garden space so I will discuss so um, everything uh, about this garden space and scenario later before we get into the scenario and garden space um, I would like to introduce myself this is Nasik I'm a health and safety trainer so here in this public video I'm going to show you only one answer of this particular question. Rest of the answers and resources are exclusively for my uh, students. So if you are interested to get more resources like this, you can join my learning club. I will show you my WhatsApp number somewhere here, either in the description box or in the comment box or sometimes in the screen as well. Then you can message me on my WhatsApp okay, to get more uh, information about the learning club you will get many resources many you know the supportive resources for your igc preparation journey okay i'm pretty confident that you will find it very helpful for your igc journey all right so before we get into the questions and answers um i would like to invite your attention to hsc press release a, a, a recent press release by HSE. You know what is HSE? HSE means health and safety and environment. That is, uh, that's a common naming HSE. But HSE that I'm discussing about is health and safety executive. It's a government board. It's a government agency in UK, which is responsible for health and safety within the UK or within uh, the Great Britain. Okay, there is another body for Northern Ireland that is known as HSENI, uh, HSE no, Northern Ireland Health and Safety Executive Northern Ireland for Northern Ireland region. So uh, my point is HSE website is a, is a very good resource for health and safety learners. If you are a continuous learner for of health and safety i would highly recommend you to visit this website i will show you this website uh, in the next moment and i'm pretty sure that you will find it very informative website there are many you know information about the health and safety uh, all the information is related to uk because uh, as i said you earlier this is a government body this is a government agency uh, in the uk so uh, they will publish the guidance they will uh, release the news related to health and safety so uh, the main interesting news is they will uh, release the news related to prosecution. So um, I will show you the, their website in a moment. Give me a time. So if you uh, search HSC UK in a uh, in any search engine you will find this website okay i will show you in a moment yeah so uh, this is hse official website their website address is www.hse.gov.uk so um, on the home page you can see there are many information about health and safety and there are many tabs news guidance about hse books free updates and conduct in the news sections you can find latest news and updates 
related to health and safety here there are some prosecution news enforcement prosecution news if you click the more news you will find more news related to health and safety in the uk so uh, i'm going to pick one news that is relevant to the scenario that's why i'm showing the showing you this news this news is released on 20th of july 2023 that is two weeks back blackpool clothing company fined after worker hit by forklift truck okay that's the news hope you can see my screen so um in july 2023 ig1 question paper there was an accident that is a collision with the uh, with the customer by electric pallet truck okay that was the scenario given in the question paper the similar uh, i mean similar in terms of the collision and accident uh, there was an incident on uh, i think march 2022 yeah that this was on this incident occurred on 25th of march 2022 in uh, in blackpool blackpool is a small town in england and the clothing company fined 40000 pounds 40000 pound means 40 uh, in a 40 hundred lakh uh, 40 hundred thousand indian rupees that means 40 lakhs indian rupees more than 40000 maybe more than uh, sorry more than 42 lakhs indian rupees okay so um i'm going to read this news very quick um i don't want to waste your time so blackpool clothing company find after worker hit by forklift truck a blackpool clothing firm has been fined 40000 pounds after a man was seriously injured when he was hit by a forklift truck actually this man is not an employee of this company this man is a driver is a truck driver uh, he is self employed delivery driver andrew john robinson suffered multiple leg fractures and a dislocated ankle as he collided with the vehicle while delivering goods at t print limited bristol avenue site in blackpool on 25th of march 2022 there is a video i'm not going to play this video because this recording uh, needs to be uploaded on my youtube so if i'm using this same video that is already uploaded in on youtube and this video will be banned so i'm not going to sorry so i'm not going to play that video all right so uh, the summary of this video is uh, there's a forklift forklift truck over here the left side and while reversing the forklift truck a driver is you know uh, the the forklift truck is stuck or uh, a hit uh, to a driver that is standing behind this forklift truck then you, uh, the 53 old from blackburn uh, had to be airlifted from the scene and spend a month in hospital because of his injuries he has recorded multiple follow-up operations and over a year later has still not recovered sufficiently to be able to work mr mr robinson says the incidents incident and recovery has taken a toll on his excuse me taken a toll on his mental health a health and safety executive investigation found t print limited had failed to ensure that there were adequate measures in place to ensure the safe if a the safe segregation of delivery drivers from the unloading and loading activities as mr robinson was not instructed to stand or wait in a safe area during the unloading of his vehicle the the, the dangers should have been identified by a suitable and sufficient assessment of the risk that means the company has failed to carry out a suitable and sufficient risk assessment on their workplace you know that as per the law as per the law the employer is responsible of the safety of everyone within the premise or within the area of control okay 
uh, it could be a worker it could be a visitor it could be a, a outside worker like this driver or it could be anyone but the the accountability of their safety is on uh, employer employee's shoulder so anyway this uh, case HSC guidance can be found at introduction to workplace transport safety HSC there is a guidance if you want more if you want to know more about this health and safety of this particular you know the transport section you will find this uh, guidance helpful anyway in a statement presented to court, court Mr. Robinson 53 years old said during the incident I sustained serious injuries to the to both of my legs I have had six surgeries in the last year including bone and skin grafts I'm still not allowed to wait beer on one of my angles and have no freedom currently due to my injuries i cannot drive and my mobility is limited i live in a first floor flat but the stairs are not manageable without help before i was a strong independent man but the incident and slow and slow recovery has taken a toll on my mental health as well sometimes i wish that i had lost my legs instead as i have had enough of the pain so t print limited so this is very emotional, right? T Print Limited of Bristol Avenue. Uh, I don't know how, how, how can I pronounce it? Is Bispa or Bispa? Blackpool, uh, this is address, let's leave that. Pleaded guilty to breaching section 3.1 of the Health and Safety at Work, etc. Act 1974. This is the UK regulation, this is the UK Act okay so uh, section 3 1 is breached here the company was fined 40,000 pounds and ordered to pay 4,696 pounds and 95 pence in costs at Liverpool Magistrates Court on 20 July 2023 HSC inspector Matthew Shepard said the company had failed to implement a safe system of work for its loading and unloading activities thereby exposing delivery drivers such as Mr. Robinson's to the risk of being struck by the forklift truck conducting the unloading operation. Mr. Robinson sustained injuries, serious injuries which have had a significant impact on his career or life. All work settings that use forklift, forklift trucks to load or unload goods need to consider the risk arising from their use and implement adequate segregation controls to ensure the safety of pedestrians such as delivery drivers during these activities. So um, uh, let's stop the reading. So uh, you see that the company has fined 40,000 pounds. It's a huge amount of money. Okay. Um, here in UK, the um, health and safety regulations are very strict in case this uh, government agency hsc find any uh, non-compliance they will take serious action against it okay so uh, let's get back to the question our scenario our scenario it's a garden center as i told you earlier its name is garden space garden space is a large independently owned garden center with three sections the first section of the company is indoor section second outdoor section and a warehouse then uh, the company has different employees and one owner okay each section of the company i mean the indoor section the outdoor section and warehouse has uh, full-time workers part-time workers team leaders and managers okay one of uh, one of the part-time workers is x we can call it as worker x okay here um worker x is not a good person the outdoor team leader recently retired and a worker with 12 months of employment was promoted to the position over another worker this worker X has working has been working here for the ten for the last ten years, but worker X is not promoted as uh, the team leader. So uh, he or she, okay, I'm using a person. Uh, uh, this is a you know uh, 
worker X is not a man, not a girl. It's not mentioned in the scenario. Still, I'm using a face of a man. All right. So, Mark, worker X expresses a disrespect for the new team leader due to their relative inexperience. The new team leader has uh, just 12 months experience. Still, he or she is team leader. So, uh, the worker X is very frustrated about that. The owner of Garden Space announces in a meeting that there haven't been any serious accident in over four years, but asks to uh, workers to maintain health and safety uh, measures, especially with increased watering of outdoor plants during the upcoming summer season. So, uh, the so, you know, um, slip and trip hazards are expected. And um, there is another part of the scenario is electric pallet truck in response to the workers feedback and complaints about the difficulty of moving heavy products. The outdoor manager purchases two electric pallet trucks and arranges training for outdoor workers by the uh, warehouse workers because where some of the warehouse workers are already trained with this uh, electric pallet truck usage they are already they have been doing they have been working with electric pallet truck for the uh, last few years so uh, some of the outdoor workers are trained by the warehouse workers uh, including uh, worker x and the new team leader of outdoor work uh, outdoor section then training covers safety procedures and guidelines for using the EPT outdoors as well so um, after uh, a two weeks uh, there is an accident at this garden space a delayed delivery of large potted trees arrives during peak operating hours the team leader instruct three EPT trained workers including worker X to put new uh, to put the new products on display after closing time however worker x couldn't follow this instruction frustrated by customers obstructions worker x rushes to load the products onto the ept and negligently navigates through a narrow pathway resulting in a serious accident the ept runs over a customer's foot twice causing injury following the accident the outdoor manager takes immediate action attending to the injured customer and calling emergency services they cordon off the accident site take witness statements and conduct an interview with worker x to gather information about the incident as a consequence of the accident the worker x is unable to return to work for a week because he is mentally shocked so this is the summary of the scenario i'm not going to show you in this public video the the correct question paper okay so um, if you want the correct question paper you can join my learning club um, i'm giving you i'm leaving my number here at the bottom you can message me on my whatsapp so this is the summary of the scenario then uh, there are i think around 10 questions are asked under this scenario so uh, before uh, we get into the question um, I would like to give you some in instruction for your IG1 examination uh, you um, I know that you have already uh, informed I mean you are informed about this instruction before still um, I would like to uh, remind you about this tips and instruction the first point is you have to prepare well well uh, preparing uh, you know the reading uh, your study materials from cover to cover all learning objective must be learned all learning objectives for your ig event there are only 17 learning objectives then you must prepare uh, uh, for an examination that means you must have an exam focused approach during your preparation and i hope you already know what is exam focused approach okay take previous questions and go through the questions and uh, um, take the ideal answers of that questions as well and uh, understand how each answer is developed then uh, the fourth one is questions will be released at 11 a.m morning 11 uk local time check your region's time 
all right then download the question paper and the answer template from the examination platform once it is released check your mail for the platform link the platform link is given in the red ink red font you can see that it's not an Nebosh official website it's an examination platform it's website address is i'm sorry www.learning.nebosh.org.uk fresh candidates need to reset a new password for this examination platform access or if you are a reset candidate, you can use your old password if you don't remember this old password you can reset the password from this platform the next uh, instruction i would like to give you is rename your answer template as follows right after the uh, right after downloading your answer template otherwise you may forget that okay at the examination uh, as the examination progresses your you know the energy level decreases so the best time to uh, do this kind of thing is the starting time so rename your answer template just after you getting the uh, answer uh, template okay so the pattern of the renaming is surname for name learner number and learning partner name you can give a space in between the points or if you can give a hyphen okay it's all up to you that's not a big deal and the seventh point read the scenario and the questions at least three times at least three times because you uh, must have a fair idea about the scenario then only you can answer the question uh, uh, in a very good manner because most of the questions are uh, related to the scenario uh, it uh, it might uh, mention that you must answer the scenario based on the scenario only oh, sorry you must uh, answer the question based on the scenario only okay so uh, if you don't know the scenario very well then you might feel it difficulty you you might feel it you know hard so uh, what i am recommending you read the scenario at least three times if you um if you have access to printing if you have access to the printer you can print out the question paper and you can use some highlighter that's a good way of uh, approaching the question if you don't have the access to the printer i'm not recommending you to wasting time on getting a printer so uh, you can use the soft copy that's okay but i think uh, recently the nabosh uh, is changed its settings of pdf so uh, you cannot edit the pdf in case uh, if you are not author so uh, that's difficult to highlight with the adobe reader but you can use some other external you know software to edit the question paper and highlight the question paper all right the next point is i recommend you to write in uh, write your answers in aerial font style and in font size of 12. that, uh, that that's that's my recommendation okay then a uh, very important thing is you must save your work save your answer regularly use this shortcut control yes otherwise uh, there is a high chance to uh, lose some points so some answers that you have already written in case of any technical issues so be careful about your device you can't trust your device because uh, uh, the most cases um, the device is being used for long hours maybe 24 hours you are using your device so some you know technical clashes tactical issues and errors are expected so be careful especially if your advice is very old the next instruction is you are allowed to write a maximum of 3300 words for 100 months so um in the uh, in the policy in the hsc guide uh, sorry nebosh guidance it is said that you are allowed to write maximum 3000 word plus 
10% tolerance that means 3300 words but i recommend you to keep it around 3000 words only okay then um, the next instruction is answers should be concise and specific no need to elaborate too much there is no point on elaborating too much because you will get one mark if your answer is concise and is to the is to the question okay um uh, the, the the main important thing is you must have fair idea about how your answer is going to evaluate it how the evaluation is going on what are the criteria to get one mark i have already explained all these kind of things in my previous videos the one main thing you have to keep it in your mind is uh, there is an answer scheme so if your answer is aligning with the answer scheme then you will get one mark there are many technical terms that you must include in your answer uh, the technical terms e that is from uh, learning objective of nebosh igc syllabus okay and I, I will give you some insights about these technical terms later uh, I mean at the end of this session probably that would be recorded for this public all right then uh, keep in mind that uh, bullet points with two lines are enough to get one mark most of the cases two lines are enough some cases you may have to give more explanation to make a point valid so uh, uh, make the examiner's job easy as much as you are possible by making your keywords bold and making this sentence easy and simple not make complex sentences complexity uh, won't give you any mark make it simple and easy leave a space in between two bullet points and, and ensure that those points are considered are considered as two different points okay and the, the next thing mention the total word count and the resources you are referred uh, to at the end of the answer paper and there is a there is a box you can mention these things upload your answers to the examination platform within 24 hours it is better to upload at least one hour before the deadline okay so um, this is all about the instruction that i would like to give you so uh, let's move on to the question uh, give me a moment yeah uh, where is that okay hope um you can see my screen uh, this is the first task the legal reasons for health and safety management okay hope you remember this topic from your uh, nibosh ig1 syllabus as i told you earlier you have only 17 learning objectives only 70 17 learning objectives all these question all the questions that are going to be asked in your exam paper as well are from these 17 learning objectives if you are well aware of these 17 learning objectives then you will find these questions all nebosh ig1 questions very easy okay. uh, the first question the legal reasons for health and safety management the task is what are the legal reasons for managing health and safety at garden space uh, this the feature of this question is this is a general question okay 
uh, you can find three type of question in uh, in the in the question paper okay this is this is not the this is not given in the guidance i mean uh, the nebosh official guide but uh, i'm i'm explaining it from my experience mm, as far as i know there are only three type of questions the first one is general question the second one is uh, uh, you should support your answer where applicable using relevant information from that scenario that's a second type question the third question is uh, the direct question from the scen scenario that means you should uh, base it on the scenario only question okay three type of question first one is general question second one is uh, you should support your answer where applicable using relevant information for the scenario. The third and last type of question is uh, based on the scenario only question. Okay. The most of the questions will be under the based on the scenario only question. Okay. And um, some questions will be uh, the question like you should support your answer where applicable using relevant information from the scenario. The third type, I mean, the general question are very rare question okay you can expect one or two question uh, from this general category of question if even it is general category i mean even it is a, 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 a this question has a general uh, natural nature still you uh, you have to keep it in mind that you must use some information you must some information from the scenario in order to make it relevant in order to make this point valid okay i will explain it later so uh, the legal reason for managing health and safety at garden space it's a general question okay still in um, you have it's a simple logic that it is mentioned that at garden space that's why you have to give the points that is relevant to this scenario that is valid in this scenario at this workplace okay i will um, show you another pdf yep so you know that this topic is discussed in 1.2 these are the 17 learning objectives under four elements there are only four elements and you have to learn 17 learning objective i have renamed all the learning objective into a simple one or two words so the first learning objective is moral and financial reasons for managing health and safety the second learning objective of the first element is legal reason for managing health and safety at the workplace so this question this sorry yes this question is asking from 1.2 that is legal reason for managing good standards of health and safety okay so tell me what are the reasons what are the uh, legal reasons for maintaining good standards of health and safety i'm asking you how would you answer this question I'm asking you to the people who are sitting online. Or you can use the chat box as well. What are the legal reasons for maintaining good standards of health and safety? You already know that. To ensure the workplace is free from hazard and risk. I'm sorry? To ensure the workplace is free from hazard and risk. Okay. Um, to ensure the workplace, workplace safety by 
making the workplace free from hazards and risk okay that's a very general point that's a good point um i know it's it's a good point still uh, you want to be specific a little more a bit more specific Pre- prevent the enforcement actions and yeah. the inspections yep very very good point that's a one of the main reasons why companies are managing health and safety in terms of legal reasons to prevent the enforcement action to prevent the notices from enforcement body to prevent the inspection from labor inspectorates to prevent the action taken by the uh, labor inspector against the company okay good then what do take care of the uh, organization and employee yeah yeah there is a duty of care over the employer the duty of care is the employer is responsible to uh, safety of the people who are working uh, at the company or who are uh, within the company okay who are present in the company they may not be they they could be working or not be working then then what that's a good point yeah it, it's a legal requirement okay irfan can texted that it's a legal requirement okay good it's a legal requirement if you are uh, if you are in a country then there are some country regulations and laws that might uh, might be followed all the time so in case of an accident the legal consequences would would be happen excuse me another point is the country requirement okay legal requirement country requirement almost the same you can see that we have a very few points uh, relevant to this question why it is important to manage health and safety in terms of legal reasons we have a very few points but the question is asking for eight marks if the question is asking for eight marks you know that you have to write at least eight different and distinctive points at least okay what i am recommending you to make it as uh, uh, 10 or 11 points then how can you make this 10 or 11 points okay that's the challenge you have to face so it, it's simple it's simple make you know the maximum point as much as you are possible even though it sounds similar but uh, there is some uh, some different direction for each point okay i will show you the, the ideal answer i i always say it as ideal answer but there is no such thing as ideal so uh, it's it's a good model of the answer that's all okay you can um, you can have your own wordings you can change it and i have one more request if you are watching this video uh, on youtube i have already uploaded many videos regarding nibosh ig1 examination and tips and hacks for nibosh igc learners and you are not supposed to copy anything from this uh, video directly to the answers because the plagiarism software is very sensitive nibosh is using turnitin it's a software uh, it's a software for checking plagiarism okay if there is any amount of plagiarized content the the software will detect you okay even it is a sentence even it is a single sentence you will be caught so uh, don't never ever never ever use any sentence from this video 
directly to the answer instead you can watch the video you can have the understanding and you can make it in your own words that's permissible that's permitted so uh, yep yep I will show you the answer This is the first page. Okay, you can see my number here. If you want the full answer and full resources, you can join my learning club. All right. So, yeah, the task number one, uh, the legal reason for health and safety management. You can give. Oh, sorry, this is. Hope you couldn't see that. Question one. According to ILO convention, it's it's a you know an introduction, a small introduction. Uh, most of the cases, uh, you don't want to give an introduction. Uh, you won't give any mark for the introduction. Uh, uh, what I am uh, recommending you is just to get into the answers. Okay, if you are not getting any mark for a sentence, then why would you write that? Leave that. According to ILO Convention 155 and Recommendation R164, each nation has its laws pertaining to workplace safety, such as the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974 in UK. Legal consequences of non-compliances can be avoided. Consequences are listed below. So, the aim of the uh, legal reason, oh, sorry, the aim of this a compliance is avoiding the consequences okay avoiding the prosecution so uh, you can mention uh, this uh, point or you can uh, you can have your own sentence as i told you earlier so um, i think this is the better way to explain something so here i have listed some consequences in case of uh, non-compliance so failure to comply with these laws can be can lead to accidents or breaches resulting in formal enforcement action or criminal criminal prosecution that can be avoided that's the one reason why you should follow health and safety companies are required to adhere to these laws ensure basic health and safety standards for workers and demonstrating their duty of care towards both employees and customers okay here customers is an important factor here in this scenario because there are a lot of customers in this workplace if it is not a shop or something if it is not open to the public then uh, there is no point mentioning about the customer here Compliance with legal requirement is essential. So, compliance is essential. See, you may find it same like uh, on, 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 on the introduction, I have mentioned that non-compliances can be avoided. And in the third point, I repeated the point compliance with legal requirements is essential. Okay. So, believe me, it's not a repeated point it's uh, you know these are two different points you have to write these points in in this way in order to get the mark okay then no further question on it companies are uh, sorry in the event of non-compliance enforcement agencies may issue prohibition notices forcing a halt to activities and necessitating corrective action this can lead to significant financial losses for other businesses additionally improvement notice may be issued in imposing new restrictions that could disrupt the company operation and result in further losses criminal prosecution is another potential consequences for a company found to be violation of workplace safety laws this may entail heavy fines or even blacklisting of the company leading to a loss of clients and a loss of reputation the financial impact of such 
penalties extends beyond direct fines related to court costs, attorney fees, and lost time due to legal proceedings. Civil courts may also impose compensation costs for injured victims. Labor inspectors visit might occur after any violation. These visits can be avoided through compliance. By implementing good standards of occupational health and safety, companies can avoid criminal prosecution, penalties, damage to the reputation. It also improves workplace safety, develops a positive safety culture, enhances work quality, and scales the garden's overall reputation, garden spaces overall reputation. See, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten points, maybe eleven points, including this introduction. See, this is how you write the answers. Then you can see that I have left a space between each point. So it is easy to distinguish that uh, there are eight or ten sorry ten or eleven points here and um, i have made bold letters some uh, you know the keywords some important keywords you can see that i have bolded i look on 155 then i made bold this legal consequence can be avoided so, yes yes of course ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷനിൽ <laughs> so um, all right you can see uh, to some uh, points are two lines some points have three lines some some point have points have one line okay so it's it it, it depends on the uh, point okay so all right so um, i'm going to uh, stop the recording right now but uh, this discussion session will be continued um, i'm stopping this video thank you thank you for watching this video if you uh, find this video helpful and informative uh, don't forget to like this video and uh, if you have any doubt you can comment down below i am more than happy to uh, answer your queries that you might have all right and best of luck for your next examination